The Well of Truth. A folktale from Egypt. Long ago, a goat, a rooster, and a donkey decided to try their luck at farming. If we work together, we can grow anything, said Goat. What should we plant? asked Rooster. How about clover? suggested Donkey. I love to eat clover. So the three of them pulled up the weeds, plowed the ground, and planted the clover seeds. They watered the field every day. Soon the clover began to grow. Is it ready now? asked the impatient donkey. No, not yet, said Rooster. If we wait, it will taste nice and sweet, said Goat. After a few weeks, the clover had grown bigger. Is it ready now? asked Donkey. No, not yet, said Rooster. Just a little more time, and it will be perfect, agreed Goat. A few days later, they returned to the field. Surely it must be ready now, pleaded Donkey. One more day, and it will be just right said Rooster. Yes, tomorrow we will have a feast, said Goat. Tomorrow, whined Donkey. Do we have to wait till tomorrow? It's just one more night, said Rooster. By then, the clover will be even sweeter, said Goat. So they agreed they would go to the field together the next morning. Donkey, Rooster, and Goat went home. But Donkey couldn't sleep. He kept on thinking about the sweet-smelling clover. At last, he said, I'm going to the field to have one little taste. When Donkey got to the field, he took a bite of clover. Mmm! So good, so sweet, he thought. Just one more bite. And then he said to himself, Oh, no one will notice if I take one more little taste. And so it went. Donkey couldn't help himself, although he kept on saying, Just one more bite. It wasn't long before he had eaten the whole field of clover. The next morning, Rooster crowed at the crack of dawn. He and Goat knocked on Donkey's door. Wake up, Donkey! It's time to eat our clover! They shouted. But Donkey had a terrible stomachache. From inside, he moaned. I'm not feeling well today. Go ahead and eat your share and save some for me. When Rooster and Goat got to the clover field, they couldn't believe their eyes. Someone has eaten our clover, cried Rooster. I'll bet it was Donkey, yelled Goat. They marched back to Donkey's house, banged on the door, and rushed inside. There was Donkey, lying in bed with a swollen belly. We know you ate the clover, accused Rooster. Look how big your belly is, agreed Goat. Oh, no, argued Donkey. It wasn't me. One of you must have eaten the clover. We will put this to the test, said Rooster. Let's go to the well of truth. We will all jump over the well, said Goat. Anyone who tells a lie will fall in and stay there for two months and one night. When they got to the well of truth, Rooster went first. He said, 
to prove I did not eat the clover. The well of truth I will jump over. If I do lie to one and all, into the well I'll surely fall. Rooster jumped and easily made it over the well. Goat was next. He swore the same oath. To prove I did not eat the clover, the well of truth I will jump over. If I do lie to one and all, into the well I'll surely fall. Goat also jumped over the well with no problem. It was Donkey's turn. He looked nervously at the well of truth. Go ahead, challenged Rooster. Yes, it's your turn, Donkey, said Goat. Donkey spoke slowly. To prove I did not eat the clover, the well of truth I will jump over. If I do lie to one and all, into the well I'll surely fall. When Donkey jumped, he, he fell, fell right into the well of truth. And there he stayed for two months and one night. <laughs>